This is the tiny box for the fender. And there's the interior of the small, look at, this is my hand, that's how small this box is, for the fenders. Let me see what else is under here. Okay. There is some wires right here, kind of uh, metal brackets. We have the plastic fenders. They're pretty heavy duty. We have this here, and then we have this nuts here, nuts and bolts. So no instructions came with this, but I can tell you that this goes back. I think you have to remove the tail light to put the back one on. And then you can put the tail light back on, on top of it. Um, and this one, I think, goes where the light is. You know where your front light is? I think that goes there. Okay, so here's the bike. And it already has uh, this on with the for the headlight. You can see in the back here. And so if you look at the picture online... It looks like this fender goes in the back here. Here mounts to where the tail light's at. So the tail light already has mounting hardware on it, but I think what happens is if you don't, they send it to you anyways, okay? And then there seems to be right here. See this? Okay, let's see if I don't have a light on. Right here, there is mounting hardware right here on both sides for fenders. Okay, also I did mount the um, thing to the rear. This looks actually perfect where it goes here and it tightens there. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, the rack on at the same time because um, they both have to go into the same hole. So um, I have to remove this anyways to put the rack on and both of them go into this hole. We have to remove this. But we have to remove the tail light first, and the place where we're looking for, where it says you have to cut a zip tie, it's right here. And then this is the area where we have to add the extension. They go in there, goes like this, then they go back in here, but um, I think we have to put that other thing in first. Okay. But we had to go and buy these bolts at the Ace Hardware. Uh, they're one inch bolts. I think I have. were these little tiny ones and that was not big enough That's not for the fender and the rack is the same size as this so there was no way to screw it into anything So we had to go and buy these uh, black ones here and see how much bigger the black one is Yeah, so that's how we got the rear rack on we got, I had put my own bolts on because the bolts that came with it were uh, the wrong size But we got it on there pretty good no, it's not, looks like it's not going to rub here, so that's going to be good. This one here looks pretty close, so I'm going to try to bend that out before we leave. Yep, I'm going to have to bend that out. the tail light it's on it's a uh, you know very uh cloudy and dark out because we're gonna get some storms here shortly um yeah the rear rack and the fenders are still working fantastic 
Uh, I've rolled with them for over a week now. The front fender, the only things that are a little problematic is you do have to bend these out occasionally. So you check them before every ride because they can rub against the tires. I have the 2.6 inch tires. That's what I got with my bike. Some people get 2.4. Uh, I had to reroute this cord. I rerouted it this way. Uh, it's doing fantastic. I'm loving this bike still. Yeah, I like this new thing here. So when I want to carry my U-lock, I'll put it on here. And when I carry my chain lock, I put it there or in this bag. And uh, yeah, those folding locks though, you can break right through them with a hand vise in about 10 seconds. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube get those things. Uh, they break through them really fast. They're, they're not high security. So that's in like an alternate security. I mean, yeah, it's better than having a cable lock for sure, but. I don't think I ever show you guys this, this mirror. Um, I just do like this. I bend it in like that when I'm gonna bring it up the steps. Now it's not gonna hit it. And all you have to do is tighten this thing here and it makes it so the mirror is tighter, but you can still move it around.